next step is let's go to task um, and it's got your water quality research notes uh, assignment that you're going to open in Google Classroom. But instead of opening the document that's being generated right now, remember, when you click on a Google Classroom assignment, if the teacher like me shared a document with you, especially if we had it make a copy for everyone, it takes a second or two to generate it. But for this one, I'm going to want you to go to Add or Create, and you're going to do Sheets. Then you're going to click on it, and you've got your water quality research notes uh, spreadsheet where you're going to graph the data. So here's what we have now. We have this with all the data, and we've got this where you're going to graph it. And this is great uh, because spreadsheets really help you graph data and make really nice graphs. All right, so first thing I'm going to start with is the um, x-axis and we're going to make that the year. So I'm going to call my x-axis year and my y-axis I'm going to make each one of the parameters. So let's start with the first one, dissolved oxygen. I'm going to call it d dot o dot uh, for dissolved oxygen and then I'm going to put in parentheses the unit of measure. Now, how did I know it was mg slash l? Well, very simply, it says it right here, mg slash l, which stands for milligram per liter, which is also known as parts per million. Same thing, two different ways of saying it. Now, the years, we could start with 2002 all the way to 2003. Now, let me see if this trick works. I'm going to go down. Yeah, look at that. It, it, did you see what I did there? Let me do that again. So if you highlight, let's say you're doing a number series and it's going in numerical order. If you highlight the first two and then click on the corner when it becomes a plus and drag down, it will finish the numbering for you. So you don't have to do every single one. And I need a couple more for 18, 19, 20. Now I've got 2002 to 2020. Now this next part, no easy way to do it. You have to do it yourself. So let's go way back down to 2002. So you're probably thinking, oh man, that's work. Yes, life is work. Do the work. It'll be great. Watch what'll happen. Okay, 2002, we had 7.5 milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen in Chimicum Creek. Now, as you can see, I rounded the numbers to the nearest tenth, so we could have them all at the nearest tenth. In 2020, I cheated. I should have rounded up to 9.0, but I'm keeping it at 8.9. Um, and just make sure your data is accurate. You don't want to get a graph that uh, is, is wrong. 